Well, hi ho my peeps. I, uh, it's been too long since I got to you with an update or a hello video. So I thought I would do it tonight. I'm in the, um, I'm in the store tonight. Oh, my lens looks weird. Hang on. I'm going to see if that's, if it's dirty or what. I think it was an or what. Anyhow, um, I've been working on these little hanging signs. All that white that you see that is Mod Podge that's going to dry clear and enhance the letters and, and the flowers on my little peace sign. I have a lot of uh, napkins that are, have been prepped and they're ready to be turned into things. Um, I've been making all kinds of just little various things. I um, I made these little pins and I Mod Podge them, which I often don't do when I cr do a crocheted piece that's supposed to be for like, you know, jewelry or whatever. But I really like these Mod Podge. They're, um, um, you know, like, glass or plastic plasticized or whatever that will make them much easier to wear and they've got little like little pin backs on the back so I did a few of those I really like the pansies those are my favorite and um, so there we go I did those and then I've been working on let's see if I've got some back here to show you yes I do I've been working on tags. I found my little tag uh, punch, and so I've prepped up some some watercolor paper with uh, napkins and mod podge them on one side. So. They start out like that, and they could certainly just be like that. I would put some, I've got a ton of little eyelets that I could put in here for the hole. That would be cool. But, I'm gonna t hey, look, there's Eve and Felicia. Look at them. I'm going to turn you over here. Okay, so this is one that's been, I put some crepe paper. I sandwiched it between um, uh, one that was Mod Podged and then one that was just watercolor paper. And I'm going to punch a hole in the top. I'm going to put a, an eyelet, some sort of fancy eyelet, up in here somewhere. And then I'll probably hang a charm off of it and I'll put these maybe in sets of six or something. Six uh, alike or six different. So I'm working on that. Um, so that's what today was. I have a bunch of these things, these little medallions with letters on them, and I finally organized them so I've got my A, let's see, that box is A through J, K through R, and S through Z. So I can easily pull these out to make other signs now that I've got them organized. They were just lying around here, there, and everywhere. All right, let's see what else is going on today. I don't think you guys have seen my new furniture. Um, I brought a, one of my old rugs in here to put in front of the fireplace. And then I've got the couch and chair. I don't think I'd shown this to you yet. Um, so I'm inundated with craft supplies because I've been doing projects for the past few days. So I'll... I'll give you a little glimpse. I've just been bringing stuff out, working on it like crazy. I wanted to uh, make some more progress on on inventory, so that's what I've been working on. Um, over here, I have some watercolor paper with napkins that I've mod podged to them. These are going to turn into 
um, more of the little labels. Um, let's see here. What else do I want to show you? I think, oh, I know. This is kind of funny. I have this hat rack over here. Um, right here. And on it, I've got these really funky hats. I made these hats, oh, geez, I don't know, 30 years ago, maybe. <laughs> well, let's see. I made them in 19, um, 1992. So that's what, close to, close to 30 years? And I've loved these dang hats all these years. I thought they're, they're just little bucket hats. This one is made of old bark cloth with some uh, rhinestones on it. These are just like almost little beret type hats that have been all hand beaded. Um, what else? And so I, I just, oh, I love this one. This one is just funky cool. I don't know. I just think they're so fun. Anyhow, um, I pulled them all out of a box and I think I'm going to steam them into shape and I'll bring Eve and Felicia out and they can model a couple of them and then the rest I'll have up on the hat rack. So they're looking pretty sad right now, but I think once I steam them, iron them out, change out the ratty, um, uh, what are those things called? Feathers. Change out the ratty feathers for something nice. They'll be fun. They'll be a fun addition. Okay, so let's see. My, I don't know, have I shown you my, my Christmas tree yet? I think it's just lovely. And I made a bunch of masks to give away to people who come into the store who don't have them. I have not open the store. No, I have not. But when I do, I'll have masks. I've been having a lot of fun making these um, uh, outlet covers, switch plates and outlet covers. They've been, I don't know. I, 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 I'm obsessed with making these. I don't know why. I just love them. I think they're so neat. I really like this one sort of a, a Japanese looking thing. Anyhow, so I've been making those. This is a chalkboard that I'm going to use to, um, to make a sign, you know, outlet covers 12 bucks or whatever. And um, I've made, I made about five or six of those. I've got them scattered around the store right now. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, see, there's another sign there. There's my Christmas decor. I'm sure Christmas will come and go before I before I open, but I don't care. Oh, this is, I finished this today. I love this. That's my little McKinsey Child's inspired plaque. I think it turned out real cute. I hand painted the flowers on top of the flowers that were on the napkin that I used, they came out too dim, so I painted over them. I like the way they turned out. I've also been working on, made a bunch of these little face scrubby things. I'll sell those in sets of three. Um, just various things there I've been working on. Um, yeah, that's my Merry Halloween tree. I just love my Halloween tree. I'm tempted to leave the thing up all year, but I don't think I will. I think I'll do something else here. Oh, and then my friend Tom showed up the other day with this tall, skinny, nightmare before Christmas tinsely tree. I just love that. Yeah, so there are my little cabinet of curiosity trees, my alt Christmas trees. <laughs> I also have, oh, hey, look at this neat thing Grant found in the yard. Look at this. I just love this. This uh, goat, um, goat skull. 
I'm sure it came from my neighbor's um, f uh, flock. No, not a flock. Is it a flock of goats? I can't remember. Anyhow, I thought it would be lovely right up there, centered on the top of my apothecary cabinet. Um, working hard on my herbs and and flowers and botanical stuff, getting that all uh, bo uh, bottled up and ready to put in the cabinet. Um, let's see here. Oh, I have another tree here. I'm not worried about decorating that one because um, that's going to end up being my Valentine's Day tree anyhow. So, so that one can remain naked. Here's my keychain rack. I got some of these Cheryl Coyote's Cabinet of Curiosities mermaid style keychains. They were, I think they were 10 of them for nine bucks, including shipping. So I got some just for the heck of it. Um, there's another one of those uh, chalkboard sign things. Oh, and I made that um, wreath, it's burlap, and I made the cotton picks. I'd seen them different places, and then I saw how to make them, um, you know, just from cotton balls. And I actually think I like mine better than the ones I saw at Hobby Lobby. So that's my little tribute to our agricultural heritage here in the central San Joaquin Valley. Um, oh, another thing I pulled out is these little motifs that I had uh, crocheted and beaded. I think I'm going to put these on my Etsy store, in my Etsy store, and just sell the little motifs separate. Um, those, have got, those of you who've seen my hats from last year, You've seen these motifs because they are on my hats. Those are just mug mats. Remember these, you guys? I love these. The little trailers. Aren't they freaking cute? So I'm going to package these up and sell them as separate items. Separate from the hats, I mean. And then I have a bunch of cupcakes. So... I pulled those out of stock today. Get ready to package those up and photograph them. Oh, I made these signs today. This one's uh, drying. It says dream. I just love making these little, these little signs. I think they're, they're so cute and they're really fun to make. This is my love. And then over here I have Believe. And when I sell these, I'll sell them with push pins so that people can just use push pins if they're putting them on the wall or wherever. So yeah. What else do I have around here? I think we'll come back over to this cabinet. Oh, I know. My sister and I did a fundraiser project for people who were victims of the recent creek fire and what we did is we made seven of these wreaths and then we put them on our social media uh, local social media and um, uh, people entered themselves into the drawing so we ended up uh, drawing seven names of locals um, who will get one of these wreaths and then we, what, we, what we're doing is we are um, um, donating a seedling um, in their name, and then they can donate um, to one of the local um, uh, charities that popped up after the fire. It was a small little uh, fundraiser, and I think I, I know better ways to do it next time, but I just... I love the way the wreaths turned out. Um, the idea of these wreaths was to combine things that you find in the valley, in our agricultural valley, and up in the hills, because 
Recovering from this fire has been a effort by everyone in our local area, people who lost homes as well as their friends, neighbors, and, you know, people down in the valley. So we've got the grapevine wreath, which represents all the grapevines that we have growing down on the valley floor. Um, this is redwood um, uh, fronds. We've got little orange slices uh, representing the orange groves down in the valley. We also have some um, pine cones um, that I picked up in town, actually. Um, and they represent, you know, the pines in the area. We've got a ribbon made of uh, burlap, and this burlap came from a potato packing plant here in the valley. And then I made these little hearts. I Mod Podged pressed uh, rose petals to, to foam core and made the little bows. My sister grew these little everlasting flowers here last summer. And then I've got a couple of little charms hanging from it. I've got an acorn and a, and a little squirrel. So that kind of represents the two big communities coming together to help fire victims. So that was pretty fun. And we wanted it to be all natural and we wanted everything on the wreath to have meaning. So I think we hit our goal on that pretty well. Okay, so yeah, I already showed you the, the little face scrubby things that will be sold in sets. I've got some small little plant popes down here and um, you know those will be will be sold individually um, I also have I made some crocheted uh, hair scrunchies out of these beautiful really beautiful hand hand spun uh, yarn I thought they turned out real neat so I'll have to package those up and hang them hang them up somewhere now these can be whatever you want them to be. <laughs> what I made originally is a little device. I'll see if I can show this to you with one hand. You hold it like this, and then where that um, alligator clip is, you hook the round end of a toggle bracelet onto that, which will leave your right hand free to pull the bracelet around and hook it so it makes um, putting on a toggle bracelet, relatively easy. I made a bunch of them. Um, the story is that when I made, first made these, I don't know, maybe eight years ago, I was at a, um, I'm going to turn this around and look at you. There. <laughs> okay, so I was at a, uh, what do you call those things? Craft fair. I was at a craft fair. <laughs> and... I had a big display of these and I was showing people how you can use them to put your bracelet on, blah, blah, blah. And some people came by and were looking at them, pull the, pulling the, uh, the alligator clip off the end and then shoving it back on and really looking at it. They bought five of them. They came back a little while later and they bought five more. So I'm putting them in a bag and I said, man, I said, you guys probably, you guys really have a lot of bracelets to put on, don't you? And they laughed and they said, no. They said, actually, what we're going to use these for is cleaning our pipes and then the alligator clip you can use if you're smoking your marijuana cigarette or your regular cigarette, uh, um, you know, a hand rolled one, just like back in the 70s. <laughs> I just had to laugh because I swear to you that did not run through my mind until these people told me why they were buying them. Just cracked me up. They must have told their friends because I sold about 15 more of them. So I thought that was really hilarious. Of course, nowadays, everybody uses those pin things. I don't think people use pipes or, or hand-rolled marijuana cigarettes anymore. So anyway... I guess they can go back to being what they were originally designed to be, uh, a bracelet assistant. <laughs> God. Okay, let's see what else do we have. Um, 
Oh, I pull, I happen to find these in a box, and I, I love these. I made these last summer. Little mermaid earrings with these marvelous cloisonne shell shells at the top. I thought they were real pretty. Okay, let's see what else do I have that you haven't seen. Oh, I made up a bunch of these cards. It says, Key to my heart. Isn't that cute? They're just blank inside cards. I thought those would be fun. Um, yeah. Let's see, what else do we have going on here? Oh, I finally put my old um, refrigerator door up. Let me show you that. See, there's the old refrigerator door, and it has magnets on it. I thought that was kind of... I thought that was kind of cute. I like those. More of those signs. And then here I have a handbag that I made years ago. Years ago. And it is all... I did all the hand beading on this. Made all those little things. And I love this. I think it's beautiful. It's just a simple bucket bag. And it, it closes with that, um, with that, this little button. I think it's so pretty. So anyhow, I made that. I figured I might as well put it in the store then. I have a couple of, these are lunch bags, believe it or not. They're lined with, um, uh, like a, I don't know, a faux leather kind of thing. And you undo them here. Whoops, I'm not in frame, huh? You undo them like this. And they come open. And you put your lunch in there. So I mean, I've made quite a few of these. Um, this particular... Uh, I've only got two left of this particular design, so so that's that. What else have I done in here? Oh, I hung out the guts from a piano that we brought home. I thought that would be an interesting place to hang the hang the piano guts. And I think that's about everything new that I've done recently. So, I'm tired. I think it's time for me to close it on up, get home, put some spanakopita in the oven, and, and just kind of chill. Yeah. So, the upshot of this little video is that I'm obviously still working. I'm obviously not open. California is raging with COVID, just raging with it. You know, um, ICUs are more or less full. They've got, they're keeping some people down in the ERs um, as ICUs. And then um, there's some parking lot overflow of patients as well. So it's been pretty scary. I have not wanted to go anywhere. Um, so I haven't, I mean, I've stayed at home or I've come here. I haven't even done any shopping. Um, I just feel like now is the time to do a little more hibernation and retail will be here when it's time for me to open. I'm in fact, it will probably be here even louder and busier when it's time for me to open. Um, that's been, oh gosh, it is so sad to see all the businesses that have closed pretty much for good. They've, some of them had closed up earlier and said, you know, we'll be back when, when we're able. And it's, 
it's kind of trickling in that a lot of these smaller businesses, mom and pop businesses, um, restaurants that have been in our area for decades and decades, um, they're not coming back. You know, barring some miracle where they get half a million dollars to, to reopen. So that has been sad, sad and scary. Um, so my little voice is saying, don't risk it. Keep your doors closed and proceed with caution. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, this video is dedicated to all of you who have recently um, emailed me or messaged me or left comments and said, where are you? We miss you. Come back. Tell us what's going on. So, so for all of you and you know who you are, <laughs> this video is for you. And I will, I'll see you guys later. Bye.